One of the hottest places in the country this August was the automobile showroom. According to numbers out today, cars and light trucks were selling at their fastest pace since the country plunged into the Great Recession. Ford and Chrysler sales are up 12 percent. GM's up nearly 15 percent. The best-selling vehicle by far, as usual, was the Ford F-Series pickup. Melody Hobson is a financial and economic analyst for CBS News, and she joins us this evening from our Los Angeles newsroom. Melody, why is this happening? It's happening because during the Great Recession, people couldn't afford to make a big purchase like buying a car. And as a result of that, they postponed that purchase, which means now the cars on the road are the oldest they've been since we've been keeping the statistic. The average car is 11.4 years old. So this isn't about want, it's about need. Cars have outlived their useful life and people have to go and buy new ones. Melody, you put some numbers together for the folks at home to tell us what this means to the broader economy. Well, one thing to think of it as every car that's sold is like a jobs multiplier. Approximately two million jobs are related to the auto industry in this country. One in every four manufacturing jobs is related to the auto industry, so it's a big driver of economic growth. On top of that, it is anticipated that this year, 35,000 auto jobs will be added to the economy. So you can think of this as being good for the car companies, good for their shareholders, but also very good for the U.S. economy. Financial analyst Melody Hobson. Melody, thank you very much.